this is a pharmacy Mahami pharmacy and store just one step outside Mobile Street that is the store you can see oh you can see now that is the pharmacy there and that is Mubad Street where I'm going to be entering now so I'm doing this so that we can know if truly he was in excruciating pain his hand was bleeding everybody know you can go to the chemist pharmacy to to get some drugs to do some first aid you understand but it's stating that they left this street here to the pharmacy which is another stone throw as you can see i'm taking you so I'm, you can see this is the street the king's court phase five you understand whatever so i am walking into the street that will take me into Mubas street you guys can see so nothing suggests from all those witnesses those around him then that they went to the pharmacy very close by to pick up drugs or to pick up anything to alleviate or to stop the bleeding or to stop the pain since the nurse is not available on the 11th and I just left Kuramed I spoke to the hospital management and they gave me full details inside and deep analysis of what transpired this as you all can see this is the street this is Mobash street yeah can you see now for yourself can you see the pharmacy that I showed you I didn't cut the car so and that is Mubarak's house down there I'm going to now so that's that's another angle okay that is the camera that is the camera in front of Mubarak's house under the roof these are the two cameras here this is the camera at the entrance these are the two cameras here now this is Mubarak's house this is 3rd of September 2024 so those two cameras those two cameras we need to know if they're working but they will of course be working and the house is still under locked and key so this is um 3rd of September 2024 so I'm still here I'm still you know having some fact finding and to get some clues that will help the police help the government to unravel the cause of death so I think this is also very crucial and this is about um, what's the time now this is 12 past 2 p.m. on the 3rd of September Tuesday 3rd of September 2024 so this is the third day of the investigation and I know surely we're going to find that missing link that clue that will help us so let's let's keep our faith let's keep trusting the justice system let's keep helping the justice and police system and let's if you have any information if you have anything vital that that could lead to to unraveling the cause of death of Mubad please do not do not hesitate to share this with us please. thank you Yes, so today is the 3rd of September and um, I'm still on Oshid Road um, where we're still um, having the investigation and fact finding, private investigation and fact finding on what killed Mubad. If there is any clue left behind. 
and um, you know this is a, uh, an effort to assist the government and the police you know if there is any vital information that we think uh, we can help them with and of course all this is going to be done under the ambit of the law and discrete human rights protection so i am trekking on the road i just left kuramed and the and the facility opposite pyramid that has CCTV. So I'm trekking to Mubad's house now. So that for you to know that the, there is close proximity. It's trekkable. And of course, there is no way anybody will not know that. There is a hospital called Kuramet there because the signage is very obvious and they have all the signs and even illuminating signs even at night to show that the hospital is there. So we just have to get a proper detailed investigation and detailed information to know the veracity and know who is complicit or who is, is liable or culpable. So, like I said, today is 3rd of September 2024. Thank you.